Hi, Gary here. You know, you probably know this lady, Marie Kondo. She came out in 2014 with a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And now that's spun off to a bunch of different things. And in fact, in 2019, she had a series on Netflix uh, about tidying up. I bring her up because, you know, we now are becoming more and more fatigued with decisions decision fatigues in all areas of life. She's obviously dealing with the whole area of our home and all the messes around that and everything else. But it's even worse with intangible things, money, because money, it's, it's tough. It's conceptual and everything else. So let's go to some real basics here about how you might tidy up and get rid of decision fatigue when it comes to money. It's really three categories of money. You have your cash flow, your taxes, and your balance sheet. Start with cash flow. You're out there trying to determine how to live in your cash flow every day. And that is always a difficult thing because stuff comes at us all the time, makes it difficult for us to decide if we're going to spend, save, pay for taxes or whatever it happens to be. And that requires budgets. It requires a lot of thinking, looks at short term and long term thinking and where that money's coming from, be it active employment, be it from retirement funds or whatever it happens to be. So that's the cash flow aspects to it taxes. Well, the tax law changes every year. And so every year you have to look at your taxes to determine what you can do proactively so that you can reduce your taxes because there's literally so few people that really want to send money to the government. So that's in the form of taxes. So looking at tax code changes, changes in your own family life, changes outside that affect you from work or whatever will then affect hopefully you can lower your taxes. And then finally, the balance sheet. Balance sheet, what's that? Assets and liabilities. Liabilities, that's a whole area of credit card and student debt and mortgages and car loans and other revolving debt. How you pay those in what order? Should you pay them off? Should you not? Can you take on debt or not? And then you get into the asset side. How do you invest your money? Uh, how's it diversified? How's asset allocation? I know, I'm making this I'm making you fatigued already. I get that. So, we're coming up on a new year. Do yourself a favor. Go find somebody who can help you through this because they deal like Marie Kondo. We do this uh, with money decision fatigue to help organize all that stuff because just doing that alone and knowing our money slipping through the cracks is really important. It can make it efficient and as Marie Kondo would say, make you feel much more comfortable and secure and feel like you have control over your stuff. Her case, it's tangible. In our case, your case, it's about money. It's intangible. So until next time, enjoy.